I'm Professor Matt Cooper, I'm the Director of the Centre for Superbug Solutions at the Institute for Molecular Bioscience at the University of Queensland. This is another step in our fight back against the superbugs. Um, what we're doing here is we're using sugar. Um, in fact, we're using sugars that are made by the bacteria and we're turning it back against them. These sugars go up to make this wall around the bacteria. So just like in a wall in a house, it's made up of bricks and they're cemented together. What these compounds do, these sugars we've designed, is they stop the mortar forming. So they stop the different bricks and the building blocks of the wall of the bacteria from being joined together. The actual specific term is called a transglycosylase inhibitor. Now people have been looking at this for a long time because it's a great target. If we can stop the wall being built around the bacterium, we can make a real difference uh, to these superbugs. But people have struggled in the past to make compounds that are both active and potent against drug resistant bacteria, but also have the right properties to be able to work in a whole model, like animal model or a human being with an infection. So the real advances here is steps towards designing new molecules that mimic these bacterial sugars that can then be used against them. So the chemistry is the really innovative part of this collaboration um, with Alchemia. Most molecules are actually flat. They look like my hand here, they're planar, and a lot of the drugs we take from, for diseases are flat. They're in a, a two-dimensional space. Sugars are different. Sugars actually look a bit like this. They have different sensors that can be up or down. And so if you count the number of fingers on my hand, you can imagine the different permutations of up or down with different types of groups on the end of my fingers is a very large number. And the scientists at Alchemia and people that work in my research group here at the IMB at UQ have designed a library of sugars. So this is really new chemical space and we're able to go places that people couldn't go before to find different chemicals that can kill the superbugs. So the key is that by taking this strategy, the chance of getting resistance is extremely low. In fact, this is one of the lowest uh, levels of resistance we've seen in a potential new drug. So it's a step in the right direction to find, try and find new antibiotics that may have a longer lifetime.